Dan Williams, Survive Outdoors. Today we're going to do the quickest and best treatment for bee and wasp stings. And we're going to move through it in under four minutes. Now I did this video about three months ago. It was a little long and belabored and too medical. Today we're just going to give you the facts and nothing but the facts. So here we go. All right, if you're new to these videos, I am certified and licensed as a PA, and I practice urgent care medicine for greater than 40 years. Um, also have a doctorate in clinical psychology. Uh, we're doing videos on wilderness medicine, zoonotic illnesses, trauma in the outdoors, practical survival, and gear review. If you're interested in any of those at all, and you think they're gonna help you with hiking, backpacking, hunting, fishing, camping, hey, subscribe. Hit the bell, you're going to get notified on all of the upcoming videos. Here we go. Bee and wasp stings. So if you get stung by one of these critters, one of the first things you're going to do is remove all your jewelry uh, because you're going to probably get some type of swelling. These stings are classified in about two phases, uh, two stages, and then there's the anaphylaxis. So the mild one, Mild stage, there's not much you're going to do with that. Then there's the intermediate, and you're going to see these photographs. The majority of those are intermediate. I'm going to label the one, which is very mild. Uh, but most of these are intermediate where you get the swelling. And then there's a kind of a pre-anaphylaxis stage, and that's where you start getting a rash and hives and wheels all over your body, and that can lead to anaphylaxis, and that's the part that's dangerous. So treatment, first thing you're going to do, after you're stung, if you're on your hand, remove your jewelry. Um, next thing is get away from the area as quick as possible. You know, they, sometimes they hive up and you need to get away quickly. Uncommon with honeybees, very common with bald-faced hornets. So once you get away, you're going to remove the stinger, which is most honeybees. A wasp will sting repeatedly, a honeybee will sting once, it's suicidal, it will eviscerate itself and die. You're going to pull the stinger out. You don't need to use a credit card anymore. That has been disproven completely. Then you're going to take antihistamines and cool compresses. Get you something to cloth, uh, a handkerchief, a sock. Get it nice and cold from a stream. Put it on there. Antihistamines. In this order, Zyrtec is the fastest acting. 20, 30, 40 minutes. Followed by Benadryl. Zizol, which is over the counter, as all of these are, is the most sedating, according to the stats. Then you have Allegra and Claritin. Personally, I'm a big diphenhydramine Benadryl fan. So you're going to get that on board. You're going to get some Tylenol on board. You're going to do cool compresses. If there's any itching, you can use an over-the-counter steroid cream, or you can use a Benadryl cream or a calamine lotion for itching. If you're going to have an anaphylactic reaction, that's going to occur most likely in the first four hours. Yes, they can occur a little later on, but most, the vast majority within four hours. Very unusual to get an anaphylactic reaction on your first bee sting or wasp sting. That may happen in the second, third, or fourth, but usually not the first. If you have a history of anaphylaxis, then you need to come into the clinic and get a script for an EpiPen. So EpiPen, EpiPen Junior. When I write a script for these, I always strongly encourage people to get three prescriptions. Um, they need one in their car, one at home, and one in their backpack if, when they're camping or outdoors. Sometimes two if they're gonna be really obsessive and remember to put that sucker in their pack. But for the most part, I usually write a script, they need three. This is, you don't joke around with anaphylaxis. You die from anaphylaxis, so pretty intense. Now for those intermediate stings that I had up on the screen that you saw, those guys, you know, they're pretty painful. Um, and so what we do is we do prednisone and usually an injection of Benadryl in the butt. And that helps tremendously. When you get your EpiPens, it always comes with a trainer pen, okay? So, and I advise you to follow the instructions on the back very clearly. And then you have your actual EpiPen. The reason why is you're usually gonna jam this into your leg, jam it into your arm, 
and it's going to give you a dose of epinephrine. Now the deal is if you don't practice it, I've had individuals that have taken the EpiPen and it clearly says here, needle in. And I've had people scared in a hurry, put their thumb on top, push it down and they get injected with epinephrine and it goes into their bone. Not a good feeling. So practice, very important. So mild intermediate stings. You're gonna take your antihistamine. Diphenhydramine, Zyrtec has the quickest acting as per the research. The second day, if you notice you're not getting a lot of progress with the cool compresses in Zyrtec, you're gonna start an H2 blocker. That could be Pepsid AC, that could be Tagamet, and that is going to be beneficial. And for the sake of this video, we're not gonna get into the details. My med bag, always in here I have Labeled diphenhydramine, 25 milligrams, Pepsid AC, H2 blocker. And that is what you're going to take. You do not need a tetanus for a wasp or a bee sting. Don't need it. So I've had some controversy on that. I'm here to clear the air, no tetanus. So there you have it. The down and dirty treatment interventions for bee and wasp things in the outdoors. Be prepared. Have those meds with you. Kill a few mosquitoes on the way. And that's all you need, guys. Remember, the vast majority of these, you do not need to come into urgent care. However, if you're concerned in the slightest, always err on the side of caution and come in because you need to then be careful with uh, anaphylaxis and these things start getting uh, worse. Again, the red flag, that your warning sign, if you start getting generalized swelling and hives all over your body, away from the site of the sting, warning sign, come into urgent care. All right, any questions, comments? Have you been stung? Have you had an anaphylactic reaction? Any stories? Write them in the description below, that would be great. Keep your eyes on the horizon, your face to the wind, and stay out of those beehives. Take care.